Good afternoon, everyone. Nowadays, our life is full of every kind of smart devices and equipment, like our smart mobile phones, smart watches, smart glasses, and also our cars, trains, wheelchairs, kitchen appliances, teaching facilities. Not to say the high-tech areas like medical science, aeronautics, and space. We can't really tell how smarter our life and the city are becoming. Such devices and equipment mostly rely on the use of numerous sensors, which are actually the media that transfer the real-world response into electric signal, that can be recognized by the computer and the software program. There is a pressure sensor called piezoelectric sensor. It can transfer the pressure. Into electricity, and that has been widely used in transportation, military, medical equipment, and many other civil and domestic areas. Well, now you may think I will tell a technical story about this sensor, but I will talk about our health and safety, because the main material to make this sensor contains a large amount of chemical element lead. Lead is such a novel element that if you have a long-term contact, it will somehow diffuse into your body, accumulate. And it can never be ejected. It will cause brain disorders and terribly damage our nervous system. Yes, we do want smart life, but we also need to be healthy. So my research is trying to find out other proper materials without lead, but with comparable properties to those of lead-based materials currently used. It was not not easy because people have spent more than 20 years on this task, but no material with ideal features has been successfully applied. Fortunately, we have just developed a composition that is very promising to be the substitute. It has excellent properties, which are comparable to, or even better than, the traditional material. And the only problem is that the working temperature range is not wide enough. But I believe, after several years of optimization, we can commercialize it, and of course, we will have a smarter as well as a safer life. Thank you.